Hello everybody! Videos two days in a row. Look, I haven't even got my other stuff put away from yesterday. I still have my stuff out. But I got two more returns. Both to the P.O. box, so fairly recent send-outs. And I'm going to need to do kind of a fast upload today. So I don't know that I'll be putting the uh, send-out and return times on these. Um, this is our giveaway stack for this month. Pretty, pretty, pretty thin, but uh, maybe we can add to it today. Um, I did also get just some regular mail from eBay. Haven't looked at it yet. I know what it is. But uh, last year when I started putting together the 2019 Tops Brandon Lau run, I passed on getting the gold because I... There was only one I could even find, and it was on ComC, and it was 15 bucks. And I thought, hey, it was just a bit, mu bit much for what I wanted to pay. And I keep my eye on, on open listings just to see. Look at that. Blue tape. Yeah, baby. Keep my eye on those open listings to see what happens. Well, in the middle of uh, August, Lau was, like, on fire. He was, he, had over, he was one of the first players to 10 home runs. He was batting like 350 something. And someone listed one and it sold for 54 bucks. 50 around 50 bucks. And I was like, okay, so now this card's out of reach for me, which is okay. I was fine with it. And then he went into the slump, a slump of the ages. And in uh, about three weeks, his average dropped um, 80 points to like 250 and things started getting more affordable again um, last week this lot went up uh, six cards I think 2019 gold uh, had a in it wasn't wasn't uh, listed very well had a had rather poor description and so I thought well here's a chance okay so Lau's cooled off um, I'm just going to throw, I'm going to snipe this thing. I'll put 15 bucks on it because it's a lot. And, you know, if I get it for that, then I can get it for what I originally uh, passed it up for. And anyway, snipe goes through, auction ends. Uh, basically got it for the lot for $8 to my door. So now Lau has heated up since then, last uh, maybe two weeks got the average up to about 270 I think and I think he's got 14 bombs now so he's gonna finish the year strong and of course the Rays are going to the playoffs so also in this lot Joey Lucchese let's see what else we got here was glad to finally get the gold version of that probably waited too long to get it Jerry's Familia I never know how to say his first name Jed Jerko Daniel Palaka, I'm not sure where he's playing right now. And Araldus Chapman. It looks like there might be something on that card, or maybe it's on the sleeve. I don't know. But I'll figure that out later. I'm not going to take those out. But did get the Brandon Lau. Like I said, it's the gold to 2019. There we have it. And because I waited and he went into a slump at the right time. Uh, got a tremendous deal on that, you know. Um, I'll probably try to flip these back on these other ones back on sport lots and might get two or three dollars for them. And uh, so that card that allow there will just be a couple dollars. So here we go with our TTMs. Uh, first one's from North Carolina, Charlotte to be exact. Okay, Blackjack McDowell and his little. Descriptor there, the 95 emotion is is nicknamed Blackjack. So most people end up with uh, some kind of uh, adjective, and usually they just very lazily took the picture and, and described it. So that one is the actual nickname. That's kind of cool. Uh, last success of the day. Oh, and so that was just about two weeks, and he's five dollars per. So five dollars, about two weeks on that. And pretty quick turnaround. I had sent to him before 
and it took eight months to send back only to say, now I'm charging, which is fine. I have no problem with that. So this one actually has something in the return address because it went all the way to jolly old England, London to be exact, Caroline Blackiston. And if you're not familiar with her by her actor name, you will probably recognize her, if you're a Star Wars man or woman, as Mon Mothma from the original series, from, from the canon rather. So there she is. Um, the, the inscription on this is really rough. It looks like a bad Sharpie that was gone over with a highlighter or something. And then the actual signature turned out pretty good. So that's a little confusing. Um, I guess she started with this and then ditched it and then grabbed the blue um, whatever it is. Some type of marker. I don't know if it's a Sharpie. It, it's a little faint, but it's a lot better than the inscription. So there's Mon Mothma. And this is an uh, index card. Looks like I got one of those. Here's a little ink transfer. You can see when you get index cards that are dirty like that, it means something from this kind of rubbed off on that, but not too noticeable. Um, so as far as sitting to England, I'm not going to, or overseas, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining how I did that. It is a process, but I'm going to leave a link below to um, the video I watched uh, and it's perfectly perfectly done video follow the advice to the T and I'm forgetting his name he's the one that does autographs for a cure I'm spacing out now or autographs for a cause uh, whatever it's called I'm sorry I should have I should have looked before I opened the mail but um, I'll leave a link the video is perfect explains how to send overseas and I don't need to do it because it's a great video so that's it for today two successes and um, Caroline, I want to say, even though it went all the way overseas, it was probably like three weeks turnaround. All the way to England and back. And uh, we can't get something from Florida to Washington in less than two months. Um, I'll get off my soapbox for that. But <laughs> anyway, great day. Hope yours was great. Until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.